Google has had enough of this ChatGPT nonsense and has officially opened up access to BARD, its generative AI chatbot. Is it better than ChatGPT? Well, let's get into it. First of all, why is it called BARD? Well, that's because it's supposed to be a storyteller. And arguably the best storyteller of all time is William Shakespeare himself, aka the Bard. Whether he would want to be associated with the second-rate version of AI chatbots is another thing. Bard is using Lambda, or Language Model for Dialogue Applications, as its underlying technology. Bard uses this tech to answer the questions, generate text, and answer prompts. This has been in testing for months in Google since 2017, so expectations were high for this. Bard will go beyond what Google search can do with context-specific responses reminiscent of a teacher, the way it explains concepts. So what can you do on Bard that you can't do on other chatbots? Well, you can use it to find answers to questions, help you better understand topics, and after testing, I can say it does work well. Asking Bard to explain the aspects of a smartphone, for example, results in a very readable explanation, more concise and structured than, say, Bing and ChatGPT. The replies generally are often phrased in a way that's genuinely easier to read. Google has stated that it's not meant to replace Google search at this point, and that may be a good thing. It rarely shows where it's getting information, and when it does, it's limited. What Bard is great for is creating meal plans and generating recipes. Bard even uses a drafts option that generates a few options at once. But I mean, ChatGPT can do the same thing though. This would have been impressive two months ago. That's really a testament to the speed at which things are developing and the competition it encourages. And ChatGPT4 is much more impressive than Bard. For example, Bard won't code, and ChatGPT4 will. It's really easy to get generative AI products to generate nonsense, otherwise known as hallucinations, and people were hoping Bard would be more accurate than other AI chatbots. So far, it's not. In one instance, Bard suggests eggs as part of a vegan meal plan and says that the Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro haven't been released yet. This shows Bard can't compete with current search and isn't really better than the competition. As previously mentioned, there's a jarring lack of sources for info provided by Bard. Bing, on one hand, shows sources of where it gets its information from, and Bard only occasionally shows a line of where its information has come from. But in Google's defense, they aren't treating it like a finished product at this point. While using this system, Google will beat you over the head with the fact that Bard's information won't always be correct. There's even a constant banner under the chat box that reads, Bard may display inaccurate or offensive information that doesn't represent Google's views. It also might not answer a topic it deems to be too sensitive. If you ask about medications, Bard might just ignore you. Also, Bard won't speak much on people. This would be polite for a person, but quite frustrating for an AI chatbot. Bard's unfinished state is implied in many ways, from its lack of a logo and branding, to it not being included in Google search or anything else in Google Suite. Google is possibly trying to be more responsible with Bard by using this approach, or maybe it's just an excuse for being behind the times. It's okay, but it's not better than what OpenAI and Microsoft has on the market. If Bard can't become more impressive than its rival, it's a wrap for Google as we know it. Google right now has 92.9% .9 of all searches on the internet, and Microsoft is licking its chops in anticipation. Can Bard be better? Can it be fused into a product that can eventually replace search? Have you tried Bard? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest AI news, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Next, you can check out Google's new Palm E robot, which is way more impressive, and that should be on the screen. So click that, and thanks for visiting AI Focus.